My name is Mitch Hagman. I'm a master electrician, and for the last 17 years, I have been a professional educator. And in my time as an educator, I developed a real passion for talking about and using digital multimeters like the one I have in front of me. And I'll turn this thing on here, and when I do, you'll see that we get zeros on the display. This type of instrument, when you take measurements, gives you a, num a numeric value for your, your current, your voltage, your resistance, or whatever kind of test you're taking. This also has the capability of measure, measuring capacitance, it has diode check, and even temperature. There's all kinds of things that this digital multimeter can do. But when I first started in the trade, I was no, nowhere near using one of these instruments. My first test instrument of choice was like this. This is a simple voltage tester. It does not give you an exact voltage. Instead, it gives you a light that either shows on the 110 side or the 220 volt. So it gives you a range of measurements, but it's not all that accurate and sometimes not that helpful when you're troubleshooting. So I eventually graduated up to one of these. This is an analog meter. And with an analog meter, instead of a numeric value displayed this way, it has a needle that deflects across the plate that has all your different measurements. And it has all these different modes and you have to determine which kind of measurement you're looking at and decide what the measurement is giving you by interpreting that. In the long run, over my many years, I soon discovered this is the test instrument of choice. And on the channel, we intend to talk about all the settings here. We're gonna go from everything from when we turn it on to when we turn it off and discuss all of it. 